Hello there, my name is Justin from Date Night, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 most difficult mandatory bosses of Dark Souls 3. I really enjoyed doing the last two listings, and if you have any other games, feel free to let me know to cover in the comments section, as well as if you'd like me to go back to Dark Souls 3 at some point. I definitely would be interested to do on all bosses or DLC bosses or anything. I, I've just been loving Dark Souls 3 and just the Soulsborne series as a whole. So yeah, let me know in the comments section. But otherwise, let's just jump right into it. All right, at number 10, we have the Crystal Sage. This boss is easy. That's it, really. <laughs> this is a top 10, so they make the list to fill a spot. You're welcome. All right, at number 9, we have Vort of the Boreal Valley. Vort is a terrible host. Every time I tell him the guests don't enjoy contracting frostbite, he stampedes me across the floor. Joking aside, this boss becomes way easier once you learn his attacks and stick to that golden rule. Alright, at number 8 we have Yorm the Giant. This boss difficulty lies with finding the correct windows to charge the Storm Ruler. That's about it though. He gave me a bit of trouble when I first started the game, but now I love this fight. But not for its difficulty, for its cinematic nature. Like, what other boss in Dark Souls contains you taking on a giant while you shoot beams of wind out of a sword? It's pretty dang epic, honestly. Alright, at number 7 we have the Abyss Watchers. I believe the Abyss Watchers acts as the gatekeeper for the rest of the game. You either get good and overcome them, or you quit. The first phase is about managing multiple opponents and managing the one good Abyss Watcher, while making sure you don't get too close to him, resulting in him attacking you instead. The second phase is a true spectacle of fire and is incredibly challenging if you fight him aggressively. But if you choose to keep your distance and pick your attack windows carefully, his second phase is a piece of cake. Alright, at number 6 we have Aldric, Devourer of Gods. I would like to formally apologize to anyone in the camp that believes this boss is hard. My first run through the game, I steamrolled this guy. But on my next run through to get this footage, he ripped me to pieces. If he hits you with the perfect storm of attacks, it is a death sentence. Just dodge and weave through his magic and punch that booty for the victory. Alright, at number 5, we have Pontiff Sullivan. Yeah! <laughs> I hate this boss. I hate, I hate him so much. You see, if you are great at parrying, Pontiff will be such a snooze for you. But if you're like me, you will hate this boss deeply in your bones. His attack windows are incredibly small, his closing speed is incredibly fast, and boy does he do a lot of damage. The key to this fight, unfortunately, is to learn his parry timing. Once you get that down, you will overcome this beast of a boss. Alright, at number 4 we have Dancer of the Boreal Valley. This fight to me becomes easier and easier the more I do it. Originally having the top spot on this list, now it takes below bronze. That'd be copper? Tin? Aluminum? Anyways, uh, the key to this fight, as well as 90% of Dark Souls bosses, is learning the attack animations. Stick to her right side to make sure you have good visual of her animations, and count those spins! After six spins, make sure to dodge into her to avoid the spinning attack. Next, it's just surviving the onslaught and attacking when able. Alright, at number 3 we have the Dragon Slayer Armor, the opposite of Dancer. This beefcake landed himself much lower on this list originally, until I factored in his ultimate attack. Fall damage. That's right, most of my deaths to him were because he hit me off of the bridge. Without acknowledging gravity as his final form, his attacks are relatively quick and damaging. Couple this with a second phase and getting shot from the dragon, and you have a pretty challenging encounter on your hands. Alright, number two, we have Soul of Cinder. Soul very nearly took top honors, but I died to him slightly less than our gold winner. Soul is difficult because he is the culmination of every build style in the game. He has a short sword, which he can attack very quickly contains delayed attacks to catch you at the end of the roll, and very delayed attacks to catch you at the end of another roll. His spear makes it very difficult to keep your distance, his curved sword makes it difficult for you to fight up close, and his staff makes it difficult to use magic. To beat his first phase, you'll just want to play very aggressively when he has a staff equipped. 
and his second phase is relatively easy if you run away half the time. I beat him by only using I beat him by only attacking during his lightning attacks and at the end of the fire barrage. With practice, you will overcome him and ignite the first flame. And at number one, we have Lothric and Lorien. What's better than one boss? One boss who can teleport. What's better than that? Giving him an attack to one hit kill you. What's better than that? Making the second phase have two bosses where one can resurrect the other upon death. And what's better than all of that? Making the second boss also contain a one hit kill attack. The number of times I died to the two princesses is absolutely staggering. Not to mention the run up to him is challenging as well. Your best bet of the first phase is always to dodge twice when he attacks. Attack once and manage your stamina well enough for the next attacks. His second phase is difficult due to Lothric's use of magic. His projectiles can stun lock you long enough for Lorien to get a swipe in, and his magic missile attacks can also one-shot you. Same strategy for the first phase, but be very mindful of Lothric. Alright, there you have it. There is our top 10 most difficult mandatory bosses of Dark Souls 3. If you're new around here, please consider hitting the subscribe button or giving us a like if you like it. We will see you next time, and again, let us know what you want to see. We would love to make more listy videos and just want to know what you need. But yes, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.